We know how to make a truck ride, handle, and perform. We have proven our formula over and over again on dozens of makes and models in all year ranges, from classics to brand new showroom fresh models. The classic Ford platform does, however, bring some unique challenges to the equation. The old Ford was designed and built for a different era, back when the speed limit was 55 and trucks were meant to work hard. While the original twin I-beam front suspension was built Ford tough, it certainly wasn't built to carve corners. The front suspension of these trucks are particularly problematic to get lowered, and we like our trucks low, so we set out to design the best handling classic Ford truck suspension and built it in a package that you can install yourself with hand tools and a little elbow grease. For this install, we will be removing the entire factory front cross member, so the engine will need to come out of the truck. Then, we'll get to work removing the old twin I-beam front suspension and get to cutting out the cross member. We used simple reciprocating saw, angle grinder, and an air chisel to remove rivets. At the end of the process, we want to have nice, clean front frame rails to bolt on our new front cross member. Yes, we said bolt on. We have built our front suspension for the Ford truck to be bolted in and it is super stout, significantly more rigid and stronger than the original. It aligns with the original rivet holes in the frame and does require some additional drilling for the many grade 8 fasteners we include in the kit. Once the cross member is installed and bolted down, the control arms can be installed along with the rack and pinion steering. This system utilizes the popular and easy to find Fox Mustang style steering rack. The upper arms are set up with the ball joint installed and Delrin bushings for smooth, squeak-free, long-lasting performance. They also provide options for caster, so you can set your truck up as aggressive as you want. We are setting this truck up to run our shockwave air suspension, but our coilover shocks will mount exactly the same way. Both provide adjustable suspension tuning for height and ride quality. Air suspension will also allow you to adjust for changes in load capacity and let you air out for that super low stance. 
The spindle for the system allows use of many popular brake options in both Ford and GM bolt patterns. Even more importantly, we made our front system with a 63 and a half track width, so you can use traditional offset wheels to keep those classic truck looks. When compared to other salvage yard options or street rod sourced front suspension systems, the RideTech system is significantly more structurally sound and provides uncompromised suspension geometry for vastly superior ride and handling and the simplicity of keeping your factory frame. At the rear of the truck, we utilize a proven four-link design to provide a low stance and still retain full use of the bed floor and load capacity of the truck. bed out of the way, we can cut and remove the old leaf spring mounts and hardware from the frame. And use the included templates to mark our cut for the C-notch. Again, you can use a wide range of tools for this job, but a simple grinder will get it done just fine. Our bolt-in C-notch uses a few existing holes, but most will need to be drilled. Just like our bolt-in front cross member, this design actually improves the strength of the original frame and provides all the mounts for our new control arms and panhard bar. While the bed floor is left unmodified, we do need to cut the support rails just a bit to provide clearance for the new forelink.
with the suspension all bolted up, we can drop the engine back in and get in alignment, then have some fun. <laughs>